question is whether it was a plot hatched overseas by ISIS or just a couple of lone wolves. Dr. Jeffrey Waro, director of the University of North Texas Military History Center and author of Quicksand, America's Pursuit of Power in the Middle East. So ISIS dreaming of a caliphate, which is basically the good old days, the, the early days of Islam, right? Yeah, and in fact, the Ottoman Empire had it until the end of World War I. So the, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire was also the Caliph of, of Islam mm -hmm. and, you know, charged with protecting the holy places and keeping the international community of Muslims one. But it was very disjointed then. They have a much more totalitarian view that they want to inflict on the rest of the world. Right, a, a very sweeping uh, imposition of, of their view of, yeah, of, of the Yeah, that includes the world. subjection of non Muslims right. to Islam. Right. Uh, why do weak minded individuals like this, and this one of these two guys on Twitter pledged his allegiance to the caliph and, and to the whole idea, um, why do they get sucked into this? They, their lives are not that bad living in this country. Well, these guys went to a mosque in Phoenix, and uh, they they became devout Muslims, and then they became inspired by the example of ISIS overthrowing, say, Assad in in, in Syria and making inroads into Iraq and talking about this caliphate, and it gave their lives meaning. The, the problem for U.S. <clears throat> law enforcement and intelligence is it's hard to distinguish between keyboard jihadis, the guys that just get online, get on Twitter, Facebook, other apps, and like talk about it, and guys who actually will do stuff and, begin and, and launch lone wolf attacks. But we have seen a significant uptick in lone wolf attacks in the U.S., most of them foiled by law enforcement, but that's some that break through the surface like this one. And, and it's something that it, people will talk about it. As you say, you just never know when somebody is actually going to do it. And the question in this country then becomes, how far can we go to stop somebody from talking about doing something stupid? Well, that's the dilemma the FBI has right now, because you know it takes about 25 guys to put somebody under surveillance for 24 hours. And so are we going to put every guy who gets on Twitter and talks about how he's enthusiastic about what's going on or, or applauds Charlie Hebdo or the Boston Marathon bombings or the Fort Hood attack? Are we going to put all these guys under surveillance? Or are we going to assume that they're just, you know, acting out and speaking up about this something that they believe in? And so it's very difficult to distinguish between who's actually an active threat and who's just talking about it. Do you have any thoughts that ISIS was actually behind? Because they certainly took credit for it, that they were actually behind plotting and carrying out this attack, or it was just that their rhetoric inspired these two dopes and things? Uh, it's pretty clear they, there was no planning because they were, they were so poorly trained and organized, but uh, ISIS has a, has a habit of taking credit for things after the fact, so as to give the appearance of having this global movement that's got, you know, millions of followers. But, uh, you know, Al-Qaeda does that as well. Al-Qaeda is typically the more elitist organization that, that leans more on heavy planning before the fact. ISIS is much more spontaneous, but uh, Al Qaeda took credit for the, the Fort Hood bombing. Al, right. Al Qaeda took uh, credit for the Boston Marathon bombing, and they were sort of inspired in the same way as these ISIS attacks, without a lot of. Uh, but it's kind of like me standing on the rooftop and, and doing a rain dance, and then if it rains, I take credit for it, and if it doesn't rain, I don't say anything. Except that ISIS is a very active agent and is sending out all this propaganda right. using social media and ginning up all these attacks and then taking credit for them. Yeah. Absolutely. Dr. Warrow, thanks very Great. much. Thank Appreciate you too. it.